Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Limits. Um, recommending a cool program. It's called the Xbox Live Friend Request Spammer. Basically, what you do is you sign into it and you type in your victim's gamer tag and you spam them. Uh, this looks like a hack bug. I can guarantee that it's not for a start. I didn't make this. I didn't make this. So, you know, um, I'm not trying to hack you because I found it in Google. And yeah, basically. I signed in to it with a one month code and well one month free trial account and it works and I'll even show you in I'll, re I'll put some footage at the end of this video of me recording myself getting spammed on the dashboard basically what you do is you open up the friend request spammer which is this little program you click sign into Xbox Live and the little drop down box will come on and you sign in here uh... if you want to be in the safe side to make sure it works for a start make a fake account and then sign in with that so this is my one month account because i wanted to make sure it worked as well but when you sign in it actually shows you your account on xbox.com just wait a minute come on come on Come on, what the fuck's taking so long? <sighs> there we go, finally. Okay, uh, god damn it, there we go. Scroll over, and uh, there is my account, it's called Burning Sniper. It's a one month code, and yeah, it's, there's my account on xbox.com, and if you're still not convinced that it can actually bring up your proper account signed in, Type in your victim's gamer tag. For me, I typed in limits and it actually worked because I'll show you some footage at the end of the video myself getting spammed. You type your game, uh, victim's gamer tag in and click start spam and it sends them thousands of friend requests. And the fun part about the good part about this one is um, the private chat spam, it's been blocked now because of the new dashboard update. And when they appear busy, yeah, um, this one can be stopped by appearing busy as well, but for the you know, you only ever did the. You only ever do it to noobs. You don't know what's gonna. Ha you don't know how to stop it. But in this case, uh, if a noob like say someone who's never only got their Xbox yesterday turns off their console and turns it back on again, normally that would stop the private chat one. But this time, if you're still, if it's still um spamming them, it will just start over again, which is the beauty of this one. The only way to stop this is to appear busy. But it's really fun and yeah, just a lot of friend requests and it's. You know, just really, really annoying. There is a downside, however, uh, if you do it for too long, the private chat glitch one is similar to that one. Um, you can't send messages for like an hour, a couple of hours or so. I'm not sure, but do it on a one month code, like a one month trial account, and you should be fine. Uh, I'll put the file front link in the description. Uh, shit, sorry. I put yeah, the file front link in the description. Uh, you don't just. Go ahead, download it. Uh, you don't have to if you think it's a scam, if you're uncomfortable. I recommend it. I don't think it's a scam. It works for me. Uh, I'm pretty much sure I'll still have this account within a year. You know, I'll still have this account, hopefully. But yeah, uh, I recommend it. Go download it. It's really cool. You know, spam people with friend requests. And yeah, uh, keep watching for my limits account getting spammed. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.